afternoon, friends and family of Grace Lutheran Church. Believe it or not, this coming Sunday is Christmas 1. I can hardly believe that we are already there, uh, but here we are. We really only get a couple of weeks, literally a couple of weeks, two Sundays, to talk about hymns of the day for Christmas. And there's so many Christmas hymns. I mean, there's a huge amount of Christmas hymns compared to the, the length of that season of the church year. And the one that I'm going to talk about today <clears throat> is not one of our most well-known or most popular Christmas hymns, but it is in our hymnal for a reason. And I actually really love this one, so I'm excited to talk about. It is our appointed hymn of the day for Christmas one. It's called Let All Together Praise Our God, and it's number 389 in the Lutheran Service Book. This hymn was written for us by Nikolaus Hermann. That's what it says at the bottom of our page. Hermann was a contemporary of our 16th century Lutheran reformers, and actually his pastor, Johann Mathesius, was one of Martin Luther's close friends. Hermann was a cantor and a master of Latin at a school in Bavaria, and he wrote a very large number of hymns during his lifetime. Uh, he wrote many of them. He'd be so inspired by what he just heard Mathesius preach, and he'd have to go and write a hymn for it. And he writes with thought toward the people, but specifically, Herman is writing often for the children of the school. And before even hearing the history of this hymn, as I was reading through it today and kind of looking back at oh, what it's all about, uh, if I can find it again here, as I was reading through, I was singing along in my head and I was thinking, wow, this song really sounds like it could be written for children. And then reading the history of it, turns out this is written by Herman for children. It's one of uh, three Christmas hymns that he wrote in a set for, for children. And you can hear that for me, I think, in the tune, which was also written by Herman, who wrote this for children. So that makes sense that you'd hear the tune sounding sort of like a children's song. But also, especially in the simple message of the text, we have seven short, clear, simple verses in which Herman walks us through the Christmas story and the theology of why Jesus came on Christmas. Again, short verses. Uh, you can see we only have three lines of music here, and the last, the very last phrase of the hymn uh, for each verse repeats itself, so uh, very concise theological points here. And I just want to talk for the rest of this video, really, on what these seven verses say uh, to to the children who are singing it, but also now today to us about the Christmas story. So we begin with verse one, let all together praise our God before his glorious th throne, because today he opens heaven again to give us his own son. Jesus comes to us. Verse two tells us that Jesus leaves his throne in heaven and he comes down and he becomes a lowly human baby in a lowly manger uh, because there's no room for them in the inn, of course. And then we get into verse three. Je so verse one, God opens heaven. Verse two, Jesus comes down as a baby. And verse three really expands on the ideas of verse two. It explains how Jesus is still fully God, but how he's veiled in human flesh when he comes. And he is in this state of humility as he does his work here on earth. Then verse four moves us sort of beyond Bethlehem and into the general why for Jesus coming to earth. Uh, verse four says, he undertakes a great exchange, puts on our human frame, and in return gives us his realm, his glory, and his name. So he uh, comes to take our place, to live a life of a human being so that he can redeem it at the end. And this is all part of uh, the person of Jesus. Verse five tells us, uh, that he is a, a loving servant. It talks about how this is such a great mystery that um, Jesus comes and we are like the Lord's now and Jesus comes to serve us. He is a loving savior for us and no truer friend can we find than Jesus himself. That's how we end our verse five. Going along with that same theme, we move into verse 6, where we continue talking about what Jesus has come to do beyond Bethlehem. Jesus is our door. It says he's the key to blessed paradise. The angel no longer bars the way to paradise for us through Jesus. We are able to enter. And so then we get through all of this. 
that Jesus came, what, what he came to do, and then we get to verse 7, and the last thing to do is just to praise him. It's a Trinitarian doxology, and it says, Your grace in lowliness revealed, Lord Jesus we adore, Your and praise to God the Father yield, and Spirit evermore, we praise you evermore. So we have seven wonderful, concise verses in our hymnal. There were originally eight, but... Um, the Lutheran service book, and really Lutheran worship did this as well, but it removes a couple of verses, the original verses four and five that talk more about Christ's humility. In our hymnal, those are removed. And then we take a pinch of the humility and we drop it in to the original last verse and expand it. So now we end up with uh, the, the original last verse split into six and seven. And seven takes a little bit of that, a little bit of that humility saying your grace and lowliness revealed um, as best as I can figure. I didn't read that anywhere. This is just me looking at the text, uh, the original text in our text. And if you're interested in reading the original eight verses, you can find them with the August Krull translation in the Lutheran hymnal in TLH, the Red Book. And if you're looking for it here, though, I want to warn you, you're not going to find it with the title, Let All Together Praise, Your, Praise Our God. When Krull translates, we end up with the title, Praise God the Lord, Ye Sons of Men. That's number 105 in the Red Hymnal, if you'd like to go look that up. So that is Let All Together Praise Our God. Merry Christmas a little bit early. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that still in Advent in this video, but I am sad that I won't be able to sing this wonderful children's hymn with you guys this week in church. I'm going to be on vacation. Um, and that also means there won't be a video next week unless Pastor steps up and does one, which occasionally he will do. I don't know. Um, but thanks so much for watching today. Uh, I hope you learned something and we'll see you in the new year. Bye.